Would the Minister of Indigenous and Municipal Relations uh, please proceed with her statement? Thank you, Madam Speaker. During this very special week, Canadians everywhere pause to honour and to respect tremendous sacrifices that were made on our behalf by the brave men and women of our armed forces. Today is Aboriginal Veterans Day in Manitoba. It's estimated that more than 12,000 Aboriginal and First Nation peoples served in the First and Second World Wars as, well, the Korean War. On this very special day, I would like to highlight an extraordinary Canadian, an extraordinary Manitoban, and an extraordinary Aboriginal soldier who served in both the Second World War and Korea. He is Sergeant Tommy Prince of the Princess Patricia Canadian Light Infantry. Born in Scanterbury, Manitoba, Tommy Prince became one of the most decorated First Nation veterans in the history of our nation, serving in both Second World War and the Korean War. He received the Military Medal from King George VI, as well as the American government's Silver Star for his courageous efforts. He is only one of three, he is one of only three World War II soldiers to receive both of these medals. Tommy Prince also received nine service medals for serving in Europe and Korea. His inventiveness, bravery, and courage cheer during his service was nothing short of legendary. I am proud to report that we have members of Tommy Prince's family with us this afternoon, along with members of the Aboriginal Veterans Association, under the direction of Joseph McCance and Lieutenant General Ray Crabb, retired of the Princess Patricia Light Infantry. Today, I am pleased to announce that we will be installing a plaque honoring Sergeant Tommy Prince in the Legislative Building Hall of Honor. The plaque is currently on display in the rotunda and will soon be permanently installed. Remembrance Week marks an opportunity for all Manitobans to recognize the incredible sacrifices of our veterans, and that includes the many extraordinary sacrifices of our First Nations veterans and armed service members. Thank you, Miigwech.